Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Liv. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not new, I'm still glad you're here. <laughs> um, today I wanted to film like a kind of short video. I always say that and it ends up being long anyway. But um, I was like, I need a kind of easy, I guess, video. And my friend was like, why don't you film a video about like things you learned, like concert tips, I guess. Um, like concert tips I learned after my first BTS concert. And I was like, yeah, that seems like a really good idea. And then another one of my friends wanted like, a, like what I got at the concert, like haul. But I didn't want to put that in one video because I was like, I didn't get that much. Honestly, I got like four things. So I'm just going to put that in this video too. And yeah, I think that's my intro. I need a better intro. Maybe next year. <laughs> next year I will come up with like a better intro. Also, I'm trying out a new angle. Do you hate it? I can't tell. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna get like right into the tips that I have. I have like a list here because I was like, I know I'm gonna forget something that I like came up with. I won't remember it. So I don't have that many, honestly. I only wrote down like three or four. I know that I could like think of more, but just for like purposes of keeping this video kind of short or like easier, I guess, I only added a few, like the ones that I thought were most important. Also, if the lighting is really bad, we're going to ignore it and we're going to deal with it because there's a snowstorm today and tomorrow. So the sky is like really gray and my room is like super dark, but I can't do anything about it and I need to film today. So we're going to pretend like it doesn't suck. I'm just going to start my tips. Um, My first tip that I came up with is probably one that I would consider most important, not the most important, but kind of important if you want to do like everything the venue has to offer and that is go a day early or if you have like the first concert date go the like a different day for like merchandise and stuff so like I learned this through like try and fail I guess um we went um the second day of the LA concerts and um if you, yeah, there was, like, a lot more to do than we thought there was going to be, I guess. Um, so I would definitely recommend, like, either going early or, like, a different day to get, like, wow, my voice just shook so bad. <laughs> going a different day to get, like, your merchandise or, like, take pictures places. Um, there's also going to be a lot of lines, like... I expected there to be lines, but there was, like, so many to the point of, like, we'd ask people, we'd be like, hey, what line is this? And they'd be like, I don't know, I just got in it. <laughs> so, expect that, too. But, um, definitely for, like, our next concert, we plan on, like, getting our stuff earlier and going a different day. Because we ended up waiting in, we went to, like, the merch line the day of our concert, and we ended up waiting in that line for, like, four hours which wasn't bad like compared to what I've heard other people waited but there was like by the time we were done with that we just got straight into the line for like stadium entry like we sat down and ate and then got in line for like the stadium entry we didn't really get a chance to like go to like the other like places like to take pictures with things there was like really long lines for that too so we didn't really like wait in those lines or do that and we didn't like do like there was like so many lines I like still even though it's done I was there I still don't know everything that there was if that makes sense but we didn't get to do a ton of it so I would definitely do a whole day of like scouting out the stadium I guess and like seeing what they have so that the day of your concert you don't have to try and do everything in that one day if that makes sense. <laughs> so my second tip would definitely be to talk to the armies there because like it is like so cool like especially since like where I'm from there's not a lot of like k-pop fans I guess and like 
army and stuff around like where I live so especially for me maybe um it was just like really cool to be in like one place where you know that every single person there is there for the same reason you are like every single person there likes the same thing as you and the same music as you and like we all just support like these seven boys so much and like it was like so like surreal I guess just to be like surrounded by like just them you know but yeah I would definitely recommend talking to armies because like we talked to armies there and we like talked to armies at like the line friend store and other stuff like that and we made like new friends and like everybody there was so nice <laughs> like I did not meet like a single mean person or like anything um like there was like armies coming around like the merch line giving out food and water like it was so sweet um but yeah it's that's kind of all I have for that tip but that is definitely something that I thought was important would just be like especially if you are waiting in lines talk to the people around you because like they're so nice and like again you know that you have stuff in common with them because you're all here for like the same thing to see the same people and um also talking to <laughs> talking to armies like in line with us is how we got other tips so like the girl behind us in the merch line was like um she went like the second day to get her merch but her concert was the first day and she told us she was like oh yeah I got in line for stadium entry at five even though it starts at seven and that's what I would recommend and that's what me and my friend did and that worked out really well for us was to like get in line early we were like at the very front and we got in with plenty of time because like inside there was like so many people it was like extremely hard to find our seats and to like get through because there was like a lot of crowds so it was like kind of hard to get through everyone to get to our seats too so I would that's I guess a second tip in here is to like get in the stadium early to make sure that you are in your seat and like you find it in time especially if you want to take pictures in the stadium too make sure that you're in there early so you have enough time um because they start like on time like they said it starts at seven they were on stage at seven like very punctual but yeah honestly like it is so easy to make friends with other armies like everybody there was so nice um and like if you want to meet up with like online friends like I did I met up with like some of my online friends who I met through Instagram um it was, it was like super fun but easy tip make friends it's again so easy you know that you like the same thing everybody there is so nice and yeah my next tip is like kind of like before the concert I guess but if you're gonna buy an outfit specifically for the concert and I feel like most people do um especially for like BTS concerts they like it's like a whole fashion show honestly me and my friend sat there when we were like waiting in line for our stuff and we would just like stare at other people's outfit and be like that's cute oh that's cute that's a really cute outfit but a tip that I would give is definitely if you have your outfit in time I guess um make sure that you wear it before like even if it's just for like a day or like just to go like grocery shopping wear your outfit before to make sure that it's going to be comfortable because again bts concerts are like an all-day thing um and there's like a lot to do so make sure that it's going to be something that you're comfortable wearing all day because my friend she bought like two different pairs of pants that she could wear and she was like oh yeah i'll just wear these ones like it was like a white pair and she was like, yeah, I'll wear these ones. But then she wore them out, like, before the concert. And she was like, oh, just kidding. I don't think I'd want to wear these all day. Because, like, there was no belt loops and they kept, like, falling down. She's like, oh, that would get annoying really fast. So she ended up wearing, like, the different pair that worked out, like, good for her. But, yeah, that is, <laughs> I feel like that's very important. Because, like, if you're going to be wearing this outfit all day, you want to make sure that you're going to be comfortable in it. And you're not going to want to be like, I guess, annoyed by your outfit, you know, um, especially shoes. Like if you are going to be going and waiting in like lines the day of your concert, make sure that your shoes are comfortable because like, um, again, our merch line, we wore our normal outfits and like my shoes are super comfortable. I've had them for a while. I didn't like buy new shoes, but they have like 
a bit of a heel on them and it, it kind of got uncomfortable after a while to like like not even wearing them but after I took them off especially I was like oh <laughs> my feet hurt you know um so just make sure that what you're wearing is going to be okay to wear all day and like sit down in and like jump around in because like you don't want to have to be like pulling up your pants or like fixing your shirt or whatever it is so kind of along with the like outfit I guess is my fifth tip fourth tip I, I lost track a while ago but my next tip would be definitely take a jacket like even if you're like it's hot during the day it's like a hot place take a jacket because like first of all it's better to have it and not use it than not have it and need it you know but yeah like um my jacket that I had I wore like a t-shirt I'll like put a picture of like my outfit but I wore like a t-shirt and I was like it's so hot in LA and like all day it was like really hot like waiting in line and like walking around it was just like hot even though it was like November so I was like I won't need like a jacket um after the concert however at night when it got dark it was freezing like maybe that is because it was November but I feel like even in the summer night sometimes is just cold <laughs> so I feel like no matter when your concert is where your concert is definitely bring a jacket if you're not already wearing like one with your outfit because um after our concert we decided to take an uber instead of like parking and we waited like two hours for an uber outside and it was so cold so like even if you're not wearing it during the day or during the concert you're definitely gonna want one even if it's just walking back to your car like again better to have it and not use it than not have it and need it and like along with bringing something i feel like this is like a given in like every video you watch of like tips is gonna give you this but a charger or like multiple chargers portable chargers definitely a must because you're gonna be using your phone all day you're gonna be taking pictures you're gonna be recording obviously most people at like the concert itself you're gonna need a phone charger to make sure that your phone is like good um again especially if you are getting like an uber like we did um our friend was like who was getting it her phone was like dying as we were trying to get this uber and we we're like oh that's awkward but we did have like a portable charger and it was like fine it worked out but yeah definitely two things that I feel like everybody needs to bring is a charger and a jacket um six again I lost track um but another tip that I would give is to definitely make sure you eat that day because like personally I did not feel hungry like the whole day like for some reason I just like I just wasn't that hungry but I made sure that like we ate we ate breakfast we got sandwiches for lunch and we ended up eating kind of late because we got back to our hotel at like one in the morning and we ended up eating at like 1 32 ish probably not the healthiest decision but oh well but we ate like a sandwich for lunch and like we ate breakfast but definitely make sure that you eat before because if you don't eat you don't want to like again it's like really hot in there especially and like you're jumping around and you're yelling and like there's a lot of people around you and you don't want to like be sick or like need to sit down or whatever during the concert so I would for sure make sure like even if it is just like something really small like half a sandwich make sure that you have something in you and like along with that definitely definitely drink water like I am like really bad at this myself like I feel like I never drink water as much as I need to but I feel like especially the day of my concert I was like absolutely not I am not gonna be sick I'm not gonna get a headache I'm not gonna be lightheaded I refuse to not feel good today <laughs> so I ate like enough food I drank enough water and I was fine so definitely make sure that you are drinking water and eating during the day take like take care of yourself like even though there's like a lot to do and a lot around make sure that you like you are okay before everything else you know 
I feel like that one is also kind of a given, but <laughs> yeah. And the last tip that I'm gonna do, just to keep this video hopefully not extremely long, is make sure that you have fun. Like, honestly, the most important thing is having fun. Um, like, the whole day, when we were, like, waiting in line and, like, driving there and, like, looking at things, all we kept, like, reminding ourselves of was, like, at the end of the day, we're gonna see BTS. And that is, like, the most important thing. So even if, like, just don't stress yourself out if you can help it. Like, I know that some people, like, it's, like, they're gonna be stressed out. Um, I definitely, there was, like, a lot of crowds, and I don't like being around crowds that much. But, like, again, at the end of the day, you are gonna see BTS at the end of the concert. Or, at the end of the day, I guess, beginning of the concert. But, like, that is the most important part. So even if you don't get to all of the lines that you want to go through, take pictures everywhere you want to, you're going to have a good time. And, like, it's okay if you don't do everything. But, yeah, that is honestly the most important thing, I would say, is, like, make sure that you do have fun. And, like, especially, like, during the concert, don't be worried about, like, people being around you or, like, you yelling in the back of videos. <laughs> like, if you watched my concert vlog i am i apologize <laughs> there's probably like so many video clips that you were watching and i'm just like screeching in the back normally i would care about that but like i really just didn't i again i focused on having fun and like yeah some of my videos have me awfully singing in the background or, like butchering korean lyrics but <laughs> i had fun and i don't regret a single thing so I would definitely say that that is the most important thing to do. <laughs> that is honestly all the tips that I am going to give, at least in this video. Um, I want to be like, to keep it short, but like, let's be honest, this video is probably longer than I meant for it to be. But oh well. Um, <laughs> I'm going to end the video by showing what I did end up getting at the concert. So if you'd like to see that this is that part. Um, I, again, I did not get much. I got four things, but I'm very happy with what I did get and, like, how it looks, how it fits, and all that. So, yeah. Um, the first thing that I got was, I don't know if you can see it, is this shirt. Um, it's just, like, the t-shirt, and it says Los Angeles Tour, and on the back, if I can grab it, it just says Map of the Soul. This shirt is extremely comfortable, <laughs> and um, so we got this one the day before our concert. We went the night before, and we got in one of the shorter lines for the retro merch booth, and then the day of our concert, we got in, like, the really, really big line. <laughs> we did that one that day, but this is the first shirt that we got, and I've been wanting this shirt, honestly, since I had, like, my original tickets to see, like, for the tour. And, like, when this shirt was released, I was like, I want it. And I didn't end up getting it, but I did, like, during the LA concert, and I was very happy with it. So, the next, <clears throat> the next shirt that I got was this one. It's, like, this long sleeve one, and it has, like, the little symbol thingies on the arms. Um, the boys wore this one. I feel like, I think all of them wore it during, like, the last like costume change costume change outfit change that they did um it's like the long sleeve says permission to dance on stage it's a plain white this one again so comfortable and it's like so warm too i haven't worn it that often i've worn it twice i think so far but i'm very happy with this one and it matches with like what the boys wore so like bonus points honestly Ugh. the next thing that I got again, this one. <laughs> I feel like this one's like my favorite one that I got. I have wanted this one again since I saw it come out like a long time ago. I was like, I want it, but I didn't want to pay shipping for it. So I just didn't end up getting it. And I wasn't even gonna get it um, <laughs> this time either. Cause I was like, mm, I already got a shirt for like the Map of the Soul tour. But when I was in line, I saw a girl wearing it and I was like, that looks so comfortable and I was convinced to buy it so I did and again I think it's like my favorite thing that I ended up getting 
I got the zip up hoodie and let me see if I can even show you. It says tour on the back in like the map of the soul writing stuff. And it's just like the zip up has like the logo on the tag. Um, it's like super, again, warm, super comfortable. And like, it's so, it just looks good. I feel like every single person who I saw wearing it, it just like looks good on them. Um, on the like string, it says map of the soul tour bts on it which i i didn't even notice that to like the third fourth time i wore it and i was like oh, that is so cool but again this is so warm it's really soft it is so comfortable this is a jacket that i ended up wearing while i was waiting for like the uber and stuff too and i wore it on my way home too my cat is scratching at my door <laughs> but yeah extremely comfortable very happy with this purchase <laughs> the last thing that i got was this premium photo i got jimin's permission to dance one um i feel like i've mentioned this so many times already but i am working on making this whole wall um for jimin's premiums there's like an awful glare but i have this one i got this one at the concert i'm hopefully gonna get more soon and work on this wall but yeah, I think these two look really cute together. And I am extremely glad that I ended up getting this one. Um, my friend got the Tay one. So we have like the matching Beeman ones. But yeah, it is so cute. He looks so good. And I'm very happy that I got this one. And I think that that is all for this video. Um, again, I if I thought about it, I'm, I know for a fact that I could come up with like so many more tips. But for now, I just did those like, again... I lost track six seven um but I think that honestly those are like the most important to me and like the ones that I like figured out after the concert these are the ones that like I was like okay these are what I'm gonna do next time for sure um and again I didn't get much but what I did get I'm very happy with and I got everything that I wanted so I'm very happy with it um for sure I'm not gonna film another video before Christmas because it's like the 23rd today definitely not getting another one before Christmas um I think I will be uploading one before New Year's because I'm gonna upload my Tay birthday vlog if I don't delete it all like Jin <laughs> I I'm still so upset about that I filmed the whole video and I just accidentally deleted everything but hopefully I won't accidentally delete all the footage and you will get a Tay Day vlog hopefully before the new year. But just in case you don't, happy new year. Um, and again, this is the last one before Christmas. So if you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're like staying safe. I hope everything's going good for you. And I hope you get like good gifts if you get gifts on Christmas. And if not, just I hope you have a good week, a good day, whenever you're watching this. Um, and just in case, again, I don't end up uploading before the new year, I hope you have a good new year and you get everything you want in 2022. But that is all for today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.